Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Sardas tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a 3D hexagon animation and it'll be After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition and apply Stardust to your layer, as you see here, I have another layer and a mask applied to it. So here I have this hexagon shape using the polygon tool to create it. It's straightforward. So and now I'm going to jump to Stardust and add a model node. And here I'm going to choose text and the mask and then assign this mask layer. So we're going to get the model here. And on model property, I'm going to set the size to 10. And for bevel, just zero out. We don't need any bevel here. And for now, I'm going to disable it. And on emitter, I want to create the grid. So from point to grid and emitting once and then zero out the speed. So basically we need more life to the particles. So let's set there 20 seconds. And then on emitter here, we have the size X. So let's make these bigger to get something like this. And here we have great properties. So how many particles we want on the X and Y and Z. So for this Z, we're going to set that to one and we're going to get something like this. And let's go back here to the particles and then set particles size to one and then choose here model. So basically these particles are going to be the placeholder for these models. So let's enable that and then connect it to the particles. So here we have something like this, as you see. So on emitter, we can just manually adjust this until we make it looks like a plane. But basically, if you know the size of these masks here, which you can actually do just using the grid and rollers here to know the width and height, you can do the math and then figure out quickly how you can adjust this. So we already do that. So basically here on the X, I have 38 and on the Y, 45 or 43. And then here we have the shift grid. So here we just move that to get it right. So there it's going to be 25. So here we just got all those polygons into place. So create a camera here. And so we got like a plane. And let's add turbulence node to see exactly what's going on. So here, if we position offset these, you can see right there, all of these uh, hexagons there. But on turbulence type, I'm going to choose here axis, and I want the offset to be on the Z. So here we can see it, but if we just go to Stardust, render settings, and then enable ambient inclusion, we can see this very cool looking. And now actually we can just go to turbulence and here we have the settings, how much we want that to move and so on. And so here we're going to just make this animating. So here we have fractal speed. I'm going to sit there too and it's basically going to animate in here. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, this look pretty cool. So we can speed up things here from the fractal speed if we need to and other properties here. So for now, I'm going to go to a model and let's crank up here the size. So now we have fill those gaps here and things look pretty cool now. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to sign material node and connect these right there. And then I'm going to just change the color here. So let's zero out color from particles and let's give a nice yellow color here. Something like this. And I'm going to add this golden texture here. So basically it's just texture as you see here. 
let's start its visibility and then on material here I'm going to assign these to diffuse texture and here you can see we got the texture there and here it's opacity so we can mix it with the color so here I'm going to sit 50% and here we have diffuse and so on so for now let's add a few lights here so let's add ambient lights and set that to 50 for now and add another light here so this one is going to be parallel lights i'm going to crank out this one here so here let's just set these maybe this is to five or six hundred just to position these where you want so we got different looks so for now i'm just going to leave it like these here and on material let's just do a few adjustments here so let's assign these to the roughness and make it glossy and have a few so you can see what all the settings are doing here so it depends on the look you want to so on BAMP I'm going to assign these as well and here we can have so make sure to intact these and so you can tell but we got some BAMP there so just subtle look as you see here and there's a very important uh, property here on the model is texture mapping so here it's set to model so we need to set that to planner so here we have a null that we can assign so if we create a null and make it 3d let's rename these texture control and on this model here we're going to assign it right there and so basically we can just use orientation here to move that so as you see here we are moving the texture as you see and it changed the look that's pretty cool okay so we're going to leave these additives for now and then I'm going to duplicate these and so for the second one here So for the second one, I'm going to connect it to the particle as well. And let's change these, reset these material and zero out color from particles. And here I'm going to just give them a nice dark color. And basically it's sit there, but we can see it because they're on top of each other. So what I'm going to do here on particles, we have property here use model so we're going to randomize that and we're going to have both of these uh, looks so as you see they are both uh, moving here this is very cool and as you see here we just use the same notes and have a different look very quickly so it's all now about stylizing this so let's say for the second one we want a different hexagon so for the second one let's enable these and i'm going to control d to duplicate this mask and then just move it something like this i see here and so let's assign these to the black here so here we have extrude and then we're going to assign the second one so now we have as you see different lock in here and let's just duplicate these one more time you know let's see we want to have another or different look here so for this one it's going to be let's see red so we can actually keep going here so let's assign another one for these And so this is going to be the third one. And here we can just play with this mask. So we got very cool looking here. So as you see, and it's animating here. And we can actually enable depth of field 
on the camera here. So let's enable, it's already enabled. So let's get a nice focus point here. And on Stardust render settings, we can enable shadows here and we're going to get a very cool look in here as you see. So it's already changed the look and so we have few properties to change and make it even better. So let's now color correct these by adding a new adjustment layer and then apply Lumetri color here. And we're going to choose a nice look here. So just going for this one and on curve, let's add a nice S curve here, just something like these. And then I'm going to add a noise effect. So maybe just to percent there. And so let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, this looks pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you how to create the glowing hexagonal background. So let's duplicate this comp and open the new one here. And so the idea here, I want to have the top surface of the hexagon black and the sides different color. So let's say glowing blue there. So let's delete these nodes and on this material node here, I'm just going to reset these and zero out this color from particle to zero and give a nice blue here, something like this and duplicate these two here. So here we have these nodes and going to connect that with particle. And the second one, I'm going to make that black. So exactly like we did before here. And so the idea here, we want this second black one to be just on top of everything. So we need first to make it look like a surface. So here on the extrude, I'm just going to sit there 20. And you can see here what's going on. Let's disable these camera depth of field. So we can see right there. And so to make it on top of the rest, we need to go to this particle. And here we have use model. We need to make sure it's set to all. So now you can see we have both of them right there. And here on a model, we got these model properties. And then we can actually control these models. So here we have the origin Z, so we can move that as you see there. And because this extrude depth is 20, so this is going to be minus 20, just the opposite. So here we got it just like we want to. And that's pretty cool. So now we just need to stylize this. So first on material here for the blue one, we're going to crank out the amounts of the views and the ambient lights. And you can see we got it like very bright there. And maybe you want uh, not everything here to be animating. And if you want that, you just need to duplicate these emitter and particle here and just connect the black one with this one here. And of course, we want these to be only affecting this particle. Otherwise, it's going to be animating exactly. So here you can see the difference. So now we have some are not animating and that like this is different. So everything animating here and then here we just have few animating. And of course, we can have few by changing the birth chance. So you get the idea. And so now let's say we want the black to have a texture so we can add it. Here I have this black texture so we can add it right here like we did before. And I'm going to assign these to diffuse texture. So here we have black texture. And here, let's say just 50. And we can add some BAMP to these as well. So make sure to check these. 
And here you can have as much as you want. So we can see the details there. And maybe we're going to set the ambient to zero and diffuse to 50. So we got something like this, as you see, pretty cool. And so now we can actually just play here with the light. So on here, let's crank up these. In here we can play to get a uh, nice light in there. So maybe we can add more here so you can see some details. So it's actually just depend on how you want to achieve these. And on these, let's try a different look here. So maybe these matrix blue, and we can add actually now glow effects. Let's put it just before noise, duplicating these and set the radius to 200. And so we can get this very cool looking as you see here. And basically you can animate the camera, very simple animation here. So I'm just going to copy these camera animation and just paste them here. So, so now you can see just very simple animation here. So you get the idea, so maybe the lights needs to get more or less depending on what you want and here we can even play with these diffuse so maybe more a little bit there and let's preview and see how this looks like So hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.